Hey everyone, it's Alice Robinson with the Grissette Group. Thank you for joining me for my February newsletter. I recently attended a economic forecast for the DFW real estate market for 2024. It was put on by our preferred title company, Chicago Title. Their legal counsel's name is Kelly Milligan. Um, he's a super sharp guy, very humorous guy. He provided the update. I'm gonna summarize it for you here, but by all means, if you want more details on anything, please reach out. So as you know, the 2020, 2021 and beginning of the 2022 market was just absolutely bonkers, not just here in DFW, but uh, across most of the nation. And we are now experiencing a much more normal market. It will probably stay this way. It's a very healthy market. The population in the DFW Metroplex is intended to continue to grow. Um, so DFW as a whole is doing just fine. We have about two months of inventory, so it is still officially considered a seller's market, um, but it's a much more balanced, healthy market. Um, prices are up just a little bit right now. That is partly due to our low inventory. And um, right now our rates, uh, they are lower than where they were at their peak of last year, around 8%. And for this year, they're expected to kind of hover in that 6 to 7% range. And so uh, there's not going to be much of a change this year. There won't be any crazy drops, um, nothing expected at least. So I think overall it's going to be a good year. We'll probably sell more homes in our Metroplex than we did last year. Uh, again, that's because the rates are a little lower, the conditions are improving, we are getting into our new normal, and this is what we can expect for the next few years to come. Um, so I left the meeting feeling super grateful that I live in the North Texas area. If you are here with me, howdy. And if you are looking to move here, please give me a call. Okay, so moving on to what's new in the area. Um, Goats Arena Sports Bar opened a couple of months ago in Fairview, Fairview Town Center. Uh, some of you may have already been there, but if not, it's a cool place to go uh, watch a game. They've got really good customer service, lots of TVs going with the games on, and got great food, great drinks. I know football season has just wrapped up, but we are in the middle of basketball season. Baseball season's coming. So if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, I recommend it. Okay, time for your random piece of news for the month of February. I'm sure it is not news to you that we are in a leap year. We do have a February 29th this year, but I wanted to share some fun facts about leap year. So uh, here we go. Four million people in the world are leap day babies, and they are called leapers or leaplings. There is a one in 1,461 chance of being a leap day baby. And every year divisible by four is a leap year, but every year divisible by 100 is not a leap year. So I didn't know that. Um, and I'm going to throw in one extra thing this month. Mark your calendars for May 24th. We are going to have our annual movie in the park event. It coincides with the last day of school. It was a huge success last year. It's going to be at Stacy Ridge Park again this year. We're lining up a bunch of fun activities for you guys. And then it will end with a movie in the park when the sun sets. So stay tuned for details, but go ahead and mark your calendars for May 24th. It's sure to be a super fun event again this year. All right, that's it for this month. Thanks for joining me, you guys. See you next month. Bye.